Hi, I'm Auntie Dawn. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making tea. The first time I had a proper cup of tea was in a London tea shop, and I could not believe how delicious it was. Making tea is simple, right? You get a tea mug, pour in hot water, put in your tea bag, and drink. There is a better way. Let's respect the work of the tea growers and packers and do it right. The word tea can mean a lot of things. It can mean a meal, either a light meal just eaten in the middle of the day, or it can be a heavy meal with an assortment of savories. It usually means a drink, an infusion of herbal substances from flowers to roots to leaves. But I think what most of us mean when we say tea is the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. They're fermented and dried and make a wonderful infusion. The first step is to choose your tea. I like loose leaf tea. I feel it brews better. Uh, this is a black tea, which is a robust, rich blend that makes a caffeine rich drink. I also like green tea, which has got a lighter, more herbal flavor and a bit less caffeine. So I like to use an insulated container like this or this to brew. If I'm going to brew my tea in a porcelain cup, I need to remember to preheat it first, which is a little tough to do. So insulated container, then I fill it up just to how much it's going to take to cover the leaves completely. I know a lot of people put a whole kettle of water on to boil and then just pour off of that, but that takes more energy to bring the water up to boil. And if you keep doing it after a while, it'll get flat. And if your water is at all hard, you can get mineral scaling in your kettle. So I'm going to pour this and just this into boil. It's been a real experience since I got a digital kettle. It actually shows the numbers as the water is coming up to heat. I'm pretty sure that before that, I was mistaking the sounds of the water being a little active before boiling for it actually boiling. And so making substrong tea, my tea has gotten so much better since I got the digital kettle. I can't really recommend any of the brands because they all seem to want to hurt you in one way or another. Uh, the first one we got that Wirecutter recommended um, always had a little bit of water left in a plastic reservoir in the handle that you could never clean out. Um, and my current one is great, except for unless you switch the hand position, it will totally steam your hand when you pour it. So I'll show you how to avoid that later. All right, while the water comes up to a boil, I'm going to put the tea leaves into the filter basket. Make sure you've got a good filter basket unless you want to read tea leaves. So I know for this size pot, I want two spoonfuls of tea. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of salt in. It really seems to help bring out the flavor and help it steep a little better. But just a tiny little pinch of salt. Now I'm going to put the filter basket into the pot and the water is boiled. So see how I'm grasping this down by the bottom? So when the steam rises out, it does not cook my hand. And carefully pour it over the tea leaves. I'm going to close that up and now I'm going to set a timer. My timer is set for three minutes and 40 seconds, which seems to be what produces the perfect brew with this particular blend of tea. It's important to set a timer when you're steeping your tea. Otherwise, it is really easy to go off and forget about it and end up with oversteeped tea, which can be very bitter and tannin. Black tea typically steeps for four minutes, green tea for three minutes, and white tea for about two. Okay, my tea is just steeped done. So I'm going to immediately pull the leaves. I'm going to let it drip for a little bit to get all the last bits out and then set that to the side to cool. This is the point at which I like to add the sugar. I figure when it's hottest the sugar has the easiest time dissolving, particularly the very unrefined sugar we tend to prefer around here. Dollop of milk. And there we go. And now I'm going to pour my tea. 
It always seems to taste better if I pour it a little high. Maybe I just got that from the folks at the Moroccan restaurant. I hope you enjoy your tea as much as I do. See you next time.